this Bonson Kitchen VS3802 um, food saver. It's actually pretty cool. I've already done the can test and it squish it into a tiny little ball. I'm not sure if you've seen the videos where the actual food saver does that, but it, it totally works. It's pretty powerful. So I just want to say for the record, this is the first food saver type device. But once again, I know this is not the food saver brand, but it is kind of a food saver. So anyway, this is the first food saver type device that I've ever owned. I just wanted to set that for the record, but I'm really liking this one so far. Um, when you open the unit up, there is a nifty little place to put your bags. And of course, I buy the bigger rolls on Amazon and I kind of just roll them backwards and refill this one and keep that one in there because of course this one does not fit. So when I first got it, I've already made all these little, I guess you could say McDonald's type breakfast sandwiches. I got a rather large family, so I did a bunch of little freezer foods to put in there for when they get hungry. Pretty nifty. Anyway, so I'm just going to do an example real quick of how I would put away some maybe leftovers. I've already put these up. This is from supper. Of course, don't forget to label it. So it's pretty easy. I'm just going to put away a leg quarter tonight. You just want to make you a bag big enough for your foods. Okay, so I'm going to seal this off. Sealing it takes just a few seconds. And then when the light starts beeping up here, of course, we're going to put it on dry, by the way. But when it starts flashing, I will cut the bag. Cutting it super easy. It has a built-in cutter. You can simply swap. And I usually do it about twice. Open it. You can see right here, this is going to be your chamber where you want to put the bag to suck the actual air out. But for sealing, you just want it to be on this little smaller one right here. You can see it made this perfectly cute little bag. Now we have an opening. So, and listen guys, don't laugh at this chicken. My husband left it on the grill just maybe five minutes too long. You kind of forgot about it. Okay, so we're gonna toss our little leg quarter in the bag like so. I'm just gonna re -tuck this and get out of the way. As you can see here, I'm gonna put it in the bigger, I guess you could say trough chamber this is where we're actually going to be sucking the air out kind of fold it over close it now i'm going to kind of stop it midway through because it is very powerful i don't want it to smoosh my chicken up too bad so we're just going to need the vacuum seal and you can see it gets all the air out i stop and just hit the seal button now for perfectly dry things such as This macaroni and cheese, I did not actually stop the unit. I let it seal completely. Um, if you have, if it's really like a tougher food or a frozen food, you don't have to stop it midway through before it crushes anything. Cause of course it's already pretty solid. Um, so we're gonna open it. And as you can see, it has sealed it. So I'm just gonna label this and stick it in the fridge. I'm sure we'll wind up eating it before, you know, it goes bad of course, or before I have to freeze it. Um, I even do gravies with this if you would like to make or freeze the rice with some gravy, but you can't do liquids. Stick your liquids in a ice cube tray, put them in the freezer, let them freeze, and then you can stick your frozen gravies or liquids in a bag and seal them up also. So anyways, I haven't seen too many reviews on this unit, so I just kind of wanted to drop this for you guys also.